WFNN. Headline News Update. Okay, folks, Billy Ray Valentine reporting for TFNN today on the 26th of June. We have a bifurcated market, as Mr. Basil Chapman would say. We've got the S&P and the NASDAQ are down slightly, and we've got the Dow Jones up slightly and the Russell up slightly. So there's a little bit for everyone. We've got the bond market basically unchanged, up very little. Same thing with the Treasury notes. We've got gold and silver up slightly. And the rest of the markets are just meandering pretty close to where they were last February. The news came out on Saturday that there was a potential military coup going on in uh, Russia. And that uh, absorbed all of the airtime on the news channels. And, of course, Sunday morning, the coup um, mysteriously disappeared. And the leader of the, coup, uh, the, coup, uh, of the coup was going to live in Belarus quietly for the rest of his life. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I'll give that till Thursday. Anybody thinks this thing is over, oh, oh boy, I think you'd have to revisit that very, very soon anyway. Uh, the, the crude oil market reacted a little bit. Uh, to it and it backed off a little bit, but not really very much happened folks The one thing you got to remember from the news is that uh, just keep it with a tongue-in-cheek and you know I've been I haven't watched the news closely I mean I watched the headlines when something really big like this thing with Russia popped out But when you hear things that go on and we, we've seen this over and I don't want to hash that over I'm a technician folks. I look at these charts if the prices are going up I try to find a pattern if the prices are going down or sideways. I just try to find a pattern. That's what I do I don't play golf. I'd rather do this than play golf and, uh, of course, golf is a tough game anyway. I do have a two handicap in golf, by the way, uh, the mental game and then also uh, putting and the long game. Those are my three handicaps that I have for golf. My first round of golf, I shot a 36, and then they tell me that there was another hole. Are you kidding me? Boy, my score would have been a little bit more like a bowling score than a golf score. All right, let's move on to a couple other things. We've got the Federal Reserve out of the picture now for a couple of weeks. But, of course, everybody's still talking about interest rates, and they're bouncing around. It's strong resistance up there today at 128.25, and the high was 128.26. So uh, a lot of things happening over there. Just getting started. We're going to take a break, 877-927-6648. 